The opening of the Battle of the Drums weekend came in the form of a food and fete gala at the PG Sports Auditorium on Friday night. It signaled the official countdown to November 19 festivities. The event saw stage performances by the country's top Garifuna bands and artists, including the Sweet Pain Band. For Darius Avila, who started organizing the yearly event in 2006, there was a steady decline in the conveyance of the Garifuna culture, but particularly the language. The Garifuna culture was deteriorating, the language particularly, and of course the the general state of the culture. And so we decided in PG, my mom and I were talking over our breakfast table and she was lamenting and so was I, that you know what, this cannot continue to be because this is not, we know, this is not what we know in terms of the culture. Avila said he and his mom came up with an idea to salvage their culture. We needed to put together some structured programs that would have the effect of revitalizing, reviving the culture. But two, we needed to ensure that we can finance it. And thus, the reason for this weekend, this is a fundraiser. And all the money we make, we infuse into our Garifuna cultural, what we call Garifuna cultural retrieval and preservation. To preserve the Garifuna language, Avila said there are summer camps as well as an annual Garifuna translation contest. For the musical aspect, the program conducts a high school version of the Battle of the Drums and the Belize Garifuna Song Competition and a weekend of drumming, singing and dance. Attendees at Friday night's fete paid an entrance fee that covered their dancing enjoyment and a three-course meal that featured a wide array of Garifuna treats and dishes. Appetizers were like Kung Su, um, cassava chips um, with fish dip, um, in terms of the main course, we have hudut, bundiga, tapo, served with fish, lobster, or um, conk. Um, and likewise, the dessert, we have um, potato pong and cassava cake. And in terms of the drink, we have hiu and saho. But Garifuna cuisine was not the only feature on the menu this weekend. Over in Dolores Village, just a couple miles from the border with Guatemala, the Maya women of that community were preparing their traditional meal, caldo with chicken and white rice, for an event. Abrelia Pan took us on a cooking tour. This is the, the ginger leaf, mm -hmm. our local right. ginger. And um, this is the culantro. Um, I'm going to put it in the meat. This have the, the seasonal and the black pepper and these are the culantro. That is all that you put? Uh-huh. And I'm going to put the onion too. We boil the meat inside and when it's getting cooked then we put the, the, the recado in it and it becomes red. The ore, we call it in the too. Yeah. Okay, well, how does that look? Is it a herb or a seasoning? A herb, like a leaf. Just like this, like leaf too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if we have them um, like, like vegetables, like chow chow, uh -huh. coco yam, we put it inside. There was no music in Dolores Village, but as a little extra treat, we got to learn firsthand how the Mayas of that village prepare handmade tortillas from scratch. From the cob, we shell it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then we cook the corn, maybe like like today we cook the corn, tomorrow we will grind it. Wash it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we will grind it, we will wash it and we will grind it. Then we make it tortilla. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, so, okay, it takes like a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it has to set overnight, I guess. Yes. Ah, I see. Southern Belize is known for these delectable dishes whether it is Garifuna food or a Mayan dish. Whichever one you prefer, bon appetit. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.